Hi, I'm Michael Smith for Nevada Trails. Today I have a very special show. I have actually three artists from the Made in Lake Tahoe, and Jenny Curse is the, uh, what is your title, by the way? I am the owner. Of the owner? Store. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I like that title. <laughs> but in case, you're going to tell us about uh, upcoming summer attractions before we get to the two artists that you brought to uh, the show. Yes, um, Made in Lake Tahoe, we actually represent local Tahoe artists. And this summer, we are going to have artists out in front of the store doing live demonstrations. So we're going to have artists in action. So we are, you know, we've got several weekends filled up. We've got a few spots left. So if there's any other artists that are out there that actually would like to come join us, we're inviting artists that aren't necessarily associated with the store to come participate as well. Well, I just met an artist at the Moose Club who, who painted the Moose Dumpster. Uh -huh. And it's absolutely beautiful. Is that, uh, if your mural artist could come, could you have him paint something for yes, the demonstration? Yes, yes, definitely. Um, we're, you know, any, anybody who can actually, you know, fit into a relatively small space because it does need to be on the sidewalk. So we can have, you know, people who do paintings. We can have acoustic music. We can't have any big, big loud speakers, but we can have acoustic um, music out there. And, you know, we're going to have some ladies who are going to be spinning yarn. We have some jewelry makers. We have some wood carvers. So we've got a different, you know, array of people. But as long as, you know, you can do it on a sidewalk area, you know, we are inviting everybody down to come. Throw out your contact information. Okay. Um, you can call us at 530-544-3435 or email us at maidenlaketahoe at yahoo.com. Sounds good. Do you have any more announcements before I bring out Wolf? Um, actually, we have one more. We are actually coordinating a community-wide art project, and it's called Run Salmon Run. Oh. And we are inviting <laughs> artists and sponsors to come participate. And if anybody remembers back in Tahoe about six, seven years ago when they had the fiberglass bears around town, we are going to have fiberglass salmon. And it's a little more affordable than the bears were, so we are, you know, getting artists, we're getting sponsors. Then the fish are going to be decorated all different kinds of ways. We are going to have them displayed for a couple months, and then they're going to be auctioned off in November. And everything, all the benefits are going to um, go to the Tahoe Talak Association. Well, I've already said I would put the Nevada Trails in as a sponsor. Oh, thank you. Great. You're welcome. So get out there and get yourself a salmon. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll be right back with... Uh, Wolf Gang, he's a local photographer. Thank you. Hi, we're back with uh, Wolf, and he is a fine art photographer. And you have a, a pretty good variety of items. And I remember seeing this table, the different frame in the, the in your store, and it was absolutely beautiful. Thank you. And you've been doing this for how long? Well, my photography I have been doing since 1966. We first did uh, portraits and all kinds of things in a studio, and then I got more and more into commercial work, uh, postcards and brochures for motels, and then they got more uh, on the internet, and uh, I always wanted to do uh, the fine art photography, landscapes and flowers, and sometimes I pick out beautiful rocks. and. Uh, so we do uh, a big variety, actually. Uh, we do the uh, regular prints that go on walls as um, fine art uh, framed prints or uh, tapestry, as we do, a woven tapestry. Well, I saw this one right behind us. Is that woven tapestry? That picture as well. It's very, well very thank nice. you. That is, uh, that is one of our most uh, wanted or most uh, liked uh, I didn't images. even know it was a tapestry until you just said that. I'm paying more attention. It's like, yeah, it's not a photograph. It's a tapestry. That's beautiful. And the one next to that is... The next one is a, uh, a canvas uh, gallery wrapped. And we use a very narrow frame. So if people want to put an actual frame around it, they can do it. So it can be done both ways. And you're across from San Arbor, it looks like. Get down that hill. Yep. I drive yep. down there all the time. It's one of my favorite areas. That's a beautiful spot you chose. I don't, I don't rarely see pictures of that spot, too. Yeah. And then the other one here, it looks like you got some um, uh, well, that waterfall. Is, <laughs> that is Eagle Falls, which is uh, very popular uh, because people don't uh, actually see that. And they think, how did you climb up there? Well, I don't tell anybody, but I just shoot down from the road. Well, yeah. yeah. Yes, thank you. You have to have the good equipment. That's right. Well, then you get tapestry and pictures to like tables. <laughs> That's very, uh, very easy to explain tickled about by goes on the wall framed or 
for a thousand dollars or fifteen hundred dollars. So I thought, what can I do with on individual tiles, okay. eight by eight tiles to start with, and we had them framed each individual. Okay, so that's <laughs> and uh, they eight tiles. That's a lot of tiles. Uh, on this one, yeah, mm -hmm. but first we, we just sold the individual tiles framed as a single piece because those were under <laughs> And um, then I thought, no, I have the tiles. What else can I do? And the next thing popped into my mind, why don't we do uh, tiles inlaid into coffee tables or end tables and things of that nature. And once I put the, the first one in the gallery, just to to find out uh, the reaction of, of the general public, I was very happily surprised. Everybody, uh, memo uh, oh. uh, 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 I did the same thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, I've never was... seen anything like this. So, and then she actually sold. Jenny sold three. Like her all that was years ago, and uh, so that was another good one. And then I thought, what else can we do? And well, I, I see got... you're into pillows. <laughs> we have one on your lap right here to show the. the yeah, people. that is a woven uh, tapestry. And we also can do pillows with printed on uh, fabric, where we print it on. Well, that's pretty nice. And uh, to get into a little few more things, we do um, uh, ties with local scenes on. This is a very that's a nice, uh, nice uh, wild horses. Did you go out and um, track them down? Oh yeah, we went out there, and that's another long story, but it's very interesting. Once they get to know you, they come actually and greet you when you oh, go. Oh yeah, there. they're they're smart. So uh, yeah, those are our coasters, water absorbent coasters. You can buy anywhere. And uh, I'd like to do a demo, but we don't have the time Can for that. Can you see those wild horses on those um, coasters? Hold it up and just keep it frozen. I remember okay. the first time I came to, um, I moved west about 10 years ago, and I um, moved to Gardnerville a little bit after that. I was in one of the outskirts of Gardnerville, and all these horses were standing there looking at me, and I'm looking at them going, <laughs> where's the fence? There's no fence. <laughs> this ranch hat doesn't have a fence. Well, and I, I kind of learned that. I didn't see him again for uh, a long time. And when you see them, these are free and beautiful animals, and it was one of the best things I've ever uh, experienced. So when any artist is involved with wild horses, I think they're just lucky. So yes, and the interesting part they get to the horses get to know you. And I came back after the first time uh, went there. I came back about uh, two months later, and they saw me coming. And from a way distance, they were about a mile away. They came over, and the mayor. And the lead stallion, they came over, walked up to me, and nudged me to say hello. I couldn't believe it. You got good so, vibes. Uh, I suppose. <laughs> For a wolf. Uh, that's right. <laughs> very good. Very good. Well, anyways, that sounds like a very special experience, and I, I agree they um, must have felt that you were trustworthy. Obviously. I guess so, yeah. Well, they knew from the first time I didn't mean any harm for them, and they have a fantastic memory, so that was wonderful. Well, it's also a beautiful uh, lamp there, too, mm -hmm. and that looks like four individual pictures on each side. Yes, we do those um, square lamps. I, I very much like those because we can do uh, four different scenes on here. We also do round lamps, uh, lampshades. And this has been a very popular item as well. And then the lamp itself is, I call it the Sierra Granite. <laughs> um, it looks exactly <laughs> it like does. a piece I did of the same granite. Thing. Uh, but you lift it up and you know it's not the real granite. <laughs> I thought Jenny had big biceps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all this, all this rock furniture. Because he had like a rock um, table too. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> now that is a little heavier. but <laughs> well, It's a little bit bigger, but I mean, it, it, it <laughs> fooled right. me. Yes. Then there's another lampshade, I think, on there. It has multiple, uh, looks like pictures of rocks or those, something. Yeah, those are uh, actually through the rock hounds. I, I got into taking pictures of rocks. and I'm rocks. A, I'm a rock you, hound. I love rocks. Really? Once yes. you light those up, the, the uh, really good light on them, it's absolutely amazing the color you get out of rocks. It's absolutely, absolutely and gorgeous. And it changes when, it, when they're exposed to yes. sunshine. Yeah. Then is this a collage? Is that your work as well? Yes, yes, we did uh, again to get something less expensive than those big uh, uh, canvas wraps. Um, those are nine different scenes on there, and this particular one has uh, all Lake Tahoe scenes on. And uh, they come, it's kind of hard to hear, they come out very nicely. And you get, you get I say for, for fun, you get nine for the price of one. See? Excellent. <laughs> well, is there anything else you want to uh, talk about your art? It's very beautiful. Uh, 
And other uh, items we do is, is silk scarves. Silk these, scarves. These happen to have beautiful flowers on them. Uh, those are different flowers we have on there, blue flowers. And then another one very interesting is this with very soft colors, but it's actually the same scene that is on the table. Oh wow! Uh, once you once you wrap those uh, around you and they come together on the bottom, you can this is split in two halves on the um, on the uh, scarves. So that's very interesting. Well, this one's very nice too. Yeah, I like to get different colors for different people. Some people like red. Some people like gold. Well, you have a good visual eye for color, and everything well, you, you. you do is absolutely uh, is stunning. And uh, I wouldn't mind this for my kitchen floor, by the way. Well, we do that. We do tiles, not those tiles, but special floor tiles, and we can do it for large floors. Uh, I have um, a lot of my scenes can be enlarged to about uh, ten by twenty feet. Well, I think that'd be a lot of fun. But uh, what you are doing is perfect. Is there uh, there's something down here? Oh, this is uh, another one. <clears throat> I call it the frameless frame. Uh, I think the frameless should... frame. Yeah, uh, these are framed. Uh, behind glass, but there is no frame around it. Uh, the neat part is um, you can hang them on those clips uh, right on the wall, and it looks almost like a finished piece of art rather than just have a piece of paper floating around. Well, that's fantastic. So uh, we can do these up to uh, 24 by 36 inches, which is pretty good size. Well, it was nice to meet you, sir. Thank you very much. He's uh, nice made, to be here. made in Lake Tahoe at the Rayleigh's uh, up in the uh, state line area. We'll be right back with another artist. Thank you.
Hi, we're back from break with uh, Devron, and your card says Rock Flowers by Devron. Yes. And you're uh, one of the artists that the, uh, made in Lake Tahoe, and you yes, have some very nice pieces. I see Thank right you. here to my right, you have some of your pictures. Do you want to tell us about them? Uh, that first one there is a uh, print of a um, chalk lion drawing, uh, pastel, and uh, I enjoyed doing that a lot. It was uh, hard, but a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I don't know how many art artists, how long it takes them to do what you do, but it, it's just amazing that where the outcome is now. Thank I you. I see a lot of beautiful things. Thank you. Then you had uh, the next one over is also a lion. Yes, that's a lion of Judah. I uh, start those paintings at church during worship and then uh, work on them at home until they're finished. Excellent. Uh, wonderful experience. You're, are you going to do any uh, paintings at the, at the gallery? Yes, I will be doing uh, at some point uh, working outside on the, uh, doing the sidewalk art uh, at Jenny's store. Good to help the kids out because you got the talent. That's can... the other thing I do too is teach kids art. Well, that's fantastic. Yes. We'll have to make sure we get your contact information out. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and tell them your phone number. You can, if they want to be uh, taught by you as an artist. Oh, it's area code 530-541-7616. And then they can also contact the store if they want to track you down, too. Right. And then your next um, picture down below, he says, I am in the middle of it. Right. That's also a scripture from the Bible um, when the Lord says, I am, and he's talking to Moses. And uh, the idea of the flames just came to me. So that's a watercolor. A print of a watercolor. Excellent. Thank you. Well, it's very, very nice. Yes. And then the, the coyotes up there, I have a lot of coyotes come through my neighborhood. So I thought that's pretty lifelike because uh, one was hurt the other day. Yeah? And he wouldn't leave his mate. And the mate had, was doing this with oh. one up, one leg. Oh. And then uh, for a while they weren't sure if he was actually faking to try to get oh, lure, yes. lures to Because yes. they're really right. smart. They are. But to be out in the daytime, this wasn't natural. And um, finally, they, they were able to get away. But it, one, one was acting hurt, but it was like right by my house. And they were pretty big. And that is, from seeing them up close, and I can show you my camera pictures, that is definitely dead on perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Did you get a model? <laughs> uh, no, I'm sure I used photo, uh, photographs on that. But we do have coyotes walking through our property quite often and in around South Lake Tahoe. When I first moved there, my, uh, my wife likes to keep the window open at night, and even in the winter. And we had these coyotes like 30 feet away in the street doing their howls to try to spook right. the animals so they can get them. That's right. And it's like, honey, <laughs> there's a giant wolf outside. <laughs> it's a, fright. the we don't it's have a those. frightening sound. We have like mosquitoes. <laughs> they have like coyotes in the neighborhood. And right now we're being harassed by a bear. So if you have any bear, wow. I'll, I'll be able to get you a bear picture pretty soon, I'm sure. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. And then so, you have, um, looks like waves from a, a Tahoe picture. Yeah, so that's just like an early spring uh, scene in an area uh, on the Nevada side of Lake Tahoe. And the, um, the wood lends itself to different aspects of the painting that I like to incorporate, like the uh, waves in the wood. Uh, lend themselves to do the actual waves in the paint. I agree, I like the grain. It, it makes uh -huh. it look like it's moving. Yes, it does. Yes. So I enjoy painting on wood a lot. That's old uh, fence wood, the old weathered fence wood. Excellent. I wonder what happened to my fence. <laughs> <laughs> also, you have flowers on a rock here. Well, this is uh, uh, poppies, California poppies on the... Um, I'm trying to think of what the name of the rock is, but just uh, pick up a rock and you can paint just about anything on them. And uh, it turned out really nicely. Um, we can use the actual poppies that are growing up there and paint right from them. So this can be used as a paperweight or a bookend. And these are available at uh, Made in Lake Tahoe. Well, I was telling you earlier that that's some of the things I used to do as a young person, and then I got teased and I stopped doing it. So, if you have talent, don't don't quit because someone teases you because this is what can turn out to be a nice thing. I know. I just had to get it a little bit better. Then you have um, a wood piece. This is just a chunk of oak with a little baby raccoon looking like he's looking out of his little nest, and uh, I found this unusual piece of wood and I thought that would be perfect. Looks like the raccoon is actually living in there. 
So this is acrylic on a chunk of oak. Well, it's very lifelike. I uh, bought one of those um, birdseed socks. Uh -huh. And our friendly raccoon already ate it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I know it's in the wild west is up there. So this is all life like uh, my neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> and this is uh, one of the peregrine falcons from this area down here. You'll see these. Oh yes. Um, sitting on the wires or in the trees down here along the highway. Uh, beautiful colors, and very. Uh, it's just a joy to see these birds as you drive through the valley. Oh, I, I think Every so, too. Every once in a while. Yeah, that's always a good time of so, year. When eagles and, and eggs out there, and then you have all these other varieties of birds coming here all the time. Some of them are staying year-round, too, I heard. Oh, good. Yeah. So yes. That's, uh, they, th these guys live here, and they just uh, sit up there where they can see from a high uh, perspective and look for lunch. <laughs> so <laughs> you mentioned doing some of your paintings at church. How, how has it happened that you're painting at church? Uh, during the worship service, we have a really beautiful worship, and then I just have my canvas set up, and uh, the Lord just opens my eyes, and I start seeing things. And I paint what I see, and then um, in the next few weeks, I continue uh, finishing the work, and sometimes it takes months, but uh, I end up with some beautiful things. So everything we, you've seen here has already been seen in church, and you just kind of created yes. it from your vision. Uh -huh. Yes. That's amazing. Yes. And that's, that happens to a lot of people, and it's very uh, a good gift. It especially is. Especially for artists, because artists are, seem to be in tune with the spiritual more than most people. Yeah, At true. least that's my opinion. True. And the colors that you see, the brilliant colors and uh, things in uh, the spirit, it's, uh, it's a wonderful experience. Have you been doing this a long time? The um, Just the regular artwork I've been uh, painting since I was a little girl. I did get a degree at the University of Nevada and took art through that and I've uh, been painting through the years. The spiritual art has been more about four years. Excellent. Yes. Is the University of Nevada still doing their art program? Oh, I'm sure they are. They had a huge uh, department. Excellent. I know they had a lot of changes and I was just, I hate to ask the question. I but, hope so. But that's good, yeah. I haven't been and back. So you keep, you, keep, you keep at it. I do. It's life. <laughs> it's a life-giving. Well, also on, on your um, your teaching of students, what kind of ages do you you take care of? Well, I'm trying to go with uh, right now uh, nine, ten year olds on up. Uh, I was thinking maybe their focus uh, could stay for a longer period of time. But I recently just started, and I'm um, just working it out as it goes to see well, I think what you ages could do, will work. I think you probably could do younger because you seem very patient and let the kids kind of learn and yet let them experiment at the same yes, time. Yes, yes. I just have that feeling from you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, I, I'm thinking the rock paintings for the kids would be a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. That would be a great experience for them because they could uh, paint the little animals, whatever uh, comes to their imagination, and I think they would really enjoy that. Well, I think that's a great idea. And I do have a couple of girls that I've been teaching um, They've been painting on canvases, and so we're developing that also. Well, I'd like to see some of those pictures someday. Tell your students. We'll, That's uh, right. We'll uh, make a, maybe a, a, for our breaks, we have a three-minute montage of stuff, and uh, I'll be glad to take their pictures and, and oh, get them. Oh, that would be them, wonderful. Them, put, we'll give them kind of a goal. Yeah. Just an idea. Well, it's about the youth anyway. So. Youth and youth made yeah. in Tahoe. <laughs> yes. So maybe they'll be painting on the sidewalk here. Pretty soon. I hope so. Do some sidewalk art. And you'll be doing it soon as well? Yes. Uh, I haven't set a date yet. Um, I'm looking forward to it, though. You'll be doing it probably like on a weekend or? Um, I don't know. I work, so I have to work in between. Oh, okay. Work it out in between. Well, we're down to our last 45 seconds. Is there anything you want to talk about about your art? I know it's your passion. I can feel it. It is. But I just want to say that I appreciate Jenny and her, her opportunity that she's given me to show my work in the store. And the artwork in the store is just a beautiful range of excellent quality artwork from different artists. I agree, and it's, uh, the, right, the prices are reasonable, and it's, it's displayed really perfectly. It is. I mean, it doesn't look like a junk store. It looks like a, it's almost like a museum. And uh, yes, so. and so many people are looking for art that's n done in Tahoe, local artists, and she's got uh, really good quality things. Well, I do appreciate you being on the Nevada Trails. Thank so you. So thank you. Look forward to My seeing pleasure. you again.
Okay, good. And we're right back with uh, the owner of Maiden Lake Tahoe, Jenny Curtis. Hi, we're back with Jenny Curtis, the uh, owner of Maiden Lake Tahoe. And I was just saying that you have a new sign now on your building. You're officially uh, home. Yes, we are. We've got a brand new sign. It says Made In and then the shape of the lake. And a lot of people come in and say, it's Made In what? And I said, well, look. I said, what is that picture of them? They say, oh, it's the lake. And I said, yeah, Made In Lake Tahoe. <laughs> <laughs> Well, our tourists have to be educated. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's one thing about thin air, you know? <laughs> people don't know how high Tahoe is. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people don't. And a lot of people come up and they don't realize that the altitude can actually have, you know, effects on them physically. You know, so people come, oh, I don't feel good. I have a headache. And it's like, oh, well, drink some water. You'll be fine. <laughs> yes. And uh, if you come to Tahoe, you, besides the altitude, uh, your level of consumption of alcohol changes as well. You can't yeah, have what you have down below because it's, it's going to be twice as hard to, to function. Yeah, that, that, that's what I heard. It's like, hmm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so be careful. But go and see the store because um, I just asked her. Last time she was on the store, I think we had 70 shows. She had, we had 72 artists. Now she has 87. Yep, 87 and more coming every week. We keep getting new artists in all the time. Well, we're going to be going to on location to your uh, store and shooting the next show there. Great. We so wait. we'll be able to see it live and in color and things. And now we'll... Uh, also, you said you're um, at the, what's the Rayleigh Center, we call yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. The store is actually located at the Rayleigh Center at State Line. Um, it's called the Village Center, but most people know it as the Rayleigh Center because Rayleigh's is the main hub store there. And we are actually in a little store that's right between Savvy and Hot Cha-Cha. So we're pretty easy to find. You can always look for the big sign. We're right there. I like your spot because you just kind of have a, a spot in your stairs. You just kind of go right mm -hmm. down, and it's, it's nice. Yeah, it, it leads right to the store, so it's great. Well, I criticism, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but it, it's like... The class is dark sometimes. Yeah, that, that little story, because it is a little bit long and skinny. It's a little bit darker on the inside, mm -hmm. but we have a lot of stuff outside. So it I know, but I just, I'll just door, let yeah, you know. As a, yeah. But now that it's warming up, you can start to have more yes, things outside. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And you have a uh, website that's uh, happening soon. Yes, it is madeinlaketahoeusa.com. And your phone number to give you a call? It is 530-544-544. Three four three five. That way, if you're an artist or a uh, customer, give her a call, or we're trying to push you to uh, put these products into the hotels and timeshares and things like that. So there's multiple things they can do for you. Well, Jenny, thank you for being Nevada Trails. Thank you very much, Michael. And next show, we'll see you at your location. It's been Michael Smith from Nevada Trails, and shop locally and make sure it's USA as well. Thank you.